We're back in LA, home of gluten-free models, the Santa Monica Pier, Randy's Donuts, and Alec Torelli. It's your very own copy of my book, Signed the Poker Coach. No way. It's for you, my man. So Look at that. There you go. Thanks, Enjoy. Alec. We connected on Instagram and met up in Beverly Hills for some of the finest coffee around, Starbucks. We had a great chat, and at the end, he gave me a signed copy of his book, The Poker Coach. We then head off to the Bicycle Casino and hop in the 2-3 game, in for $300. We look down at Ace-5 of Hearts from the cutoff, the straddle's on. I raise it up to $25, the big blind and the straddle both call. So we're going three ways to the flop here with 77 in the pot. Giving us bottom pair comes King, 5, 8, 2 diamonds. We flop bottom pair with a backdoor heart draw, but when it checks to me, I decide to rep the Kings in my range here, and I bet $20, and uh, fortunately they both fold. Always good to drag the first pot of the night. 320 now in our stack, we look down at King Queen of Hearts from the under the gun position. I raise to 15. The cutoff and the big blind both call, so we're going three ways to the flop here with 47 in the pot, which comes King of Diamonds, 8 of Spades, 10 of Clubs. Top pair is definitely going to be good here a large portion of the time. The big blind checks, and uh, being in the middle of two opponents here, I'm supposed to be checking a large portion of my range. A, to be getting more info on the opponents, and B, to also confuse them with my weird play. So I check, and the cutoff does as well. Off to the turn comes the 7 of spades. Pretty innocuous card here, and now the big blind leads into us for $15. Uh, I decided to get some more money here in the pot and raise him to $45. My line definitely looks pretty weird, so I wouldn't blame him for calling. The cutoff gets out of the way, and so does the big blind, and we drag that $107 pot. 330 in our stack, we look down at Ace Queen offsuit from Under the Gun plus one. Under the Gun limps. I raise it up to $15, and we get called by the small blind, big blind, and Under the Gun position. Four ways to the flop here comes Queen 6-6. Six, six. Pretty great board for Ace Queen, and the action checks to me. I decide to bet 33% of the pot here for $20, and just the small blind calls. Heads up to the turn here with 100 in the pot comes the deuce of clubs, which shouldn't change too much. So if he called me on the flop, he likely has a queen and will call a decent sized bet. For that reason, I fire for $65. Unfortunately though, he finds a fold and we scoop that pot. Pocket nines here from the big blind, the low jack limps. Small blind completes and I pop it up to $16 and the low jack calls. Small blind gets out of the way. Heads up to the flop here which comes jack of clubs, seven of clubs, deuce of hearts. Out of position here, I decide to start with a check and the low jack checks behind. Turn comes the deuce of diamonds and I check again here. Uh, and now the low jack bets $25. I think if he had a jack, he would have taken a stab on the flop to protect his hand from my ace-king, king-queen, and uh, other overcard type hands. So most likely he has a club draw or a bluff. I debate raising here, but decide just to call. The river with 85 in the pot comes a jack of hearts, which all things considered is a good card because it makes it less likely that he has a jack. I check, and he bets $35 here, and he's basically saying he has a jack or nothing. And the way he plays it smells a lot more like nothing to me, so I put in the call. Sure enough, he shows pocket threes, and we scoop that $155 pot. I think it's important to really look at the line your opponent takes, and if you think it seems fishy, it might be a time to make a lighter call than usual. 370 in our stack, we look down at queen 10 offsuit from the small blind. The straddle's on, middle position player calls, and I pop it up to $24 and get called by the big blind and the straddler. Three ways to the flap here comes ace, nine, jack. We flop an open-ended straight draw and decide to check here. The big blind checks, and now the straddler bets $55. Uh, and both of us find a call here, so we're going off to the turn, still three ways with 243 in the pot. Turn comes the nine of diamonds, and like a blind date, that card was not the one we were hoping to see. I check, the big blind now goes all in for $160, and the straddler calls. That's a good sign for us to fold here, so that's what I do. The river with 563 in it comes a four of spades. The big blind ends up showing ace queen of spades and the straddler mucks. Weird hand. 265 now in our stack, we're in the small blind with American Airlines. The straddle's on and a perfect development for us happens when three players call the straddle. I make it $35. Apparently I should have made it more because the small blind, under the gun plus one, and the button all call. So going four ways to the flop here and don't really know exactly what we need to fade anymore. There's 152 in the pot and the flop comes jack of hearts, nine of diamonds, deuce of clubs. 
Seems okay, but out of position here against three other players, I decided to go for the check and potentially shove all in. The big blind checks, and now the under the gun just rips it in for around $175. To make it more interesting, the button now goes all in for less, around $150. And there's definitely some concern about one of the opponents having pocket nines, but it's likely that someone has a straight draw or maybe just a jack. So I go all in here for $200. And because that wasn't already enough players in there, the big blind goes all in, covering the table as well. We're likely not ahead here anymore, and we're off to a runout. The turn comes the queen of clubs, the river comes the five of diamonds, under the gun plus one shows king jack, the button shows ace king, I flip over my aces, looking to drag the pot here, but then the big blind shows pocket nines for a flop set, and he's going to scoop the entire pot. We rebuy for $300 and we look down at jack nine of spades from the button, the cutoff limps and I pop it up here to $12 and the big blind and the cutoff both call. Three ways to the flop here comes nine, nine, deuce, two hearts, checks to me here and I bet $15 because who knows what reason. The big blind folds and the cutoff min raises to $30. In this situation we're either way ahead or way behind so I'm not going to be raising here and I just put in the call. Turn with around 100 in the pot comes the 10 of spades and the cutoff takes a weird line and decides to check now. This smells like a heart draw type hand so I go for value and bet $115, which in hindsight I think is way too much. We could probably go for around half pot and still be fine. And ultimately he tank folds and we drag that $213 pot. 335 now in our stack we look down at ace king offsuit from the under the gun plus one. I raise it to 15. The hijack, who just sat down a few hands ago, 3-bets us to $50, and I think it's fine in this situation to either 4-bet or call with a hand like ace-king, but I like to be aggressive at times, and I 4-bet him in this situation to $165. He doesn't think too long, and 5-bet shoves for $300, and even though this looks very, very strong, we can't be folding for $135 more here with a premium like ace-king, so I put in the call. Flop comes 4 7 6 the turn is the 10 of diamonds, the river is the 9 of spades, we're left with just ace high here, and he shows two aces here, and that's definitely going to be good enough to take the cake, as they say. We then realize that the person who just stacked us in that hand was a vlog watcher and a fan named Aviv. We go over and have a chat with him. This is so sick. Yo, shout out to Wolfgang Poker. I'm a huge fan. I watch this guy all the time. Sick hands, sick games. Sub to him. Everybody check him out. Um, Yo, enjoy program. enjoy my 300 bucks. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was a gift. I appreciate it. Yeah, Honestly, gotcha. great to play with you. I can't believe that I'm playing with you right now. There's my chips right there. He took all my money. Oh my gosh, that's so sick. What a good fan. So sick. I give back. I give back. We still have around 30 chips left in our stack, so we decide to try and run that up. We look down at pocket tens and under the gun. I go all in. The button calls with ace king of clubs. Good old fashioned flip here, and the run out is clean, so we get a double. We then look down at ace-queen offsuit from the hijack. I shove all in, and the small blind calls with pocket nines. Unfortunately, though, he holds, and we're going to be done for the night, down $600. Well, can't say that was very fun, but we got into the game for $600, out for zero. We met a really nice guy named Aviv, who took 300 of our chips on our second buy-in, but uh, it went to a good place. He's a fan of the vlog, so definitely got to support that. Thanks for watching, Aviv. And uh, you guys, thanks for watching as well. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment down below. Leave a like on the video. And I'll see you guys, as always, in the next video. I hope you have a great night. Peace! Thanks for watching to the end of my video. Click my head below to subscribe and stay in the loop. See you next time.